Nature is not a place to visit, it's our home. Nature is all that we see. Animals, insects, disappearing into their surroundings. Using deceptions, disguises, lures. Nature is all that we hear. The call of an eagle, the hiss of ocean spray, the rumble of thunder, the doings of a cricket. The wonderful beauty of nature, the crucial, fragile affinity between animal life and their environment. All of this is World of the Wild. The world's largest and most populated continent, Asia, is also home to some of the world's most extraordinary tropical jungles. From the evergreen lowland ranges to the cool cloud forests of the mountain regions, there are areas of jungle habitat here dating back over 100 million years. In this episode, we venture into the heart of the jungle to learn the wisdom of Asian elephants. Hang with nocturnal fruit bats, learn the Porsche spider's ingenious hunting strategies, bask in the rivers with water buffalo, and witness the python's deadly embrace. Revered for centuries in Asia, with important roles in religion and culture across the continent, elephants are an iconic inhabitant of the Asian jungle. However, their future in this environment is less assured. Male Asian elephants stand around three meters high at the shoulder and can weigh over five tons. Marginally smaller than their African cousins, they are the second largest terrestrial animal in the world. But on the vast continent of Asia, no other animal even comes close. For all their size, Asian elephants can be remarkably discreet. Their grey coat offers a surprisingly effective camouflage in their shady jungle habitat. And wide feet with thick pads of fatty tissues distribute their weight, allowing them to walk in near silence. Unlike their African counterparts, most female Asian elephants lack tusks, and so do some males. However, on both continents, poaching for black market ivory as well as meat and leather continues to be a threat. While sexually mature males are more solitary, elephants are social animals and tend to live in tightly knit family groups. With each adult consuming 150 kilograms of vegetation a day, few environments are capable of supporting a herd of mega herbivores. Few environments, that is, except the luscious Asian jungle. In fact, in this habitat, it seems the elephants are struggling to keep up, having developed specialized molars for breaking down the fibrous plant matter of the jungle. Asian elephants will nonetheless go through six sets of teeth in their lifetime. Unfortunately, cultivated crops, such as bananas and rice, are also favored foods for elephants bringing them into conflict with farmers. With agriculture continuing to spread into the jungles, these conflicts show no signs of easing. The tropical climate that prevails over much of the Asian jungle means there is no dry season. Downpours can occur here at any time and every month there is a minimum of 60 millimeters rainfall. For a species that lacks sweat glands, in the warm jungle environment, rain is a vital asset. And so too are the abundant jungle waterways the rain provides. 
Requiring over 100 litres of water a day, more if bathing, elephants are never found far from a water source. And with the jungle's reliable network of streams, creeks and rivers, they never have to be. With such a huge surface area of skin, water is crucial for elephants to cool themselves. But their frequent visits to the jungle waterways are also valuable in reinforcing social bonds. Once ranging across most of continental Asia, today, elephants are found only in fragmented populations in just 15% of their original range. Cut off from their ancient migratory routes by human settlement and infrastructure, habitat loss is the elephant's greatest threat. Nature reserves and replanting programs are helping offset the degradation of the elephant's habitat, but a more unified effort is required to protect the jungles and allow this colossus to once again thrive across the continent. a different breed of jungle inhabitant takes to the skies. High above the dangers of the jungle floor, fruit bats dedicate their days to an inverted form of rest and relaxation. Hanging by their toes for hours on end, bats have developed specialized tendons that allow them to cling to their roosts without expending energy. Despite having free reign over the jungle skies, fruit bats are highly social animals. Preferring to remain in close proximity to one another, they roost and feed in dense congregations. Commonly known as flying foxes for their fox-like faces, Fruit bats are among the largest bat varieties in the world. Some species boasting weights of up to 1.6 kilograms and wingspans over a meter and a half wide, they are properly known as megabats. With a wide distribution, megabat populations can be found in parts of the Mediterranean, Africa and Australia with the greatest range of species found in Asia. The only mammals capable of flying, the majority of bats are hunters, feeding on insects and small animals. But the jungles of Asia offer many food sources, and the fruit bat has adapted to feed exclusively on the abundance of fruit varieties that grow here. Distinguished from the majority of bat species, megabats in the jungles of Asia have lost their capacity to navigate through echolocation. In seeking out fruit, the senses of smell and sight are far more important, and the facial structure of fruit bats, with long noses, enlarged eyes and reduced ears, has evolved to reflect this. With teeth adapted to bite through hard fruit skins, megabats often won't consume the entire fruit, preferring to suck the energy-rich juices inside. Their primarily liquid diet aids in their rapid digestive system, and consuming over twice their body weight in a single night, fruit bats process their feeds quickly so that they remain light enough to fly. The voracious feeding of megabats provides important services to the jungle ecosystem. Flying from tree to tree, grains of pollen are distributed via the bat's fur, allowing the vital process of pollination to take place. 
Fruit seeds are also distributed through their nutritionally rich excrement, some of which will take root on the jungle floor and grow into new fruit trees. Come dawn, the bats return to their roosts where they will spend the daylight hours recovering from their busy night. The bats return to their roosts and settle in for a day of rest in their inimitable upside-down style. With the coming of dusk, this hardy species will take to the wing once more venturing into the darkening jungle in their tens of thousands for another night of feeding, a cycle that both the bats and the jungles depend on. The bountiful jungles of Asia are crawling with life, not all of which is obvious at first glance. By far the most abundant and diverse life forms to be found here are the invertebrates. Existing within their own small scale jungle world, these animals can easily be overlooked by the casual observer. But each creature has a distinct role to play within the larger jungle ecosystem and each exhibits a range of specialized adaptations in order to survive here. Occupying a unique place in this complex web of life is the Porsche spider, which is adapted to outwit and feed upon their own kind. An adept and clever predator of the invertebrate world, the Porsche spider is first and foremost a master of self-preservation. Vulnerable to other invertebrates as well as larger jungle species such as birds and reptiles, the distinctive walking gait of the Porsche assists their already effective body camouflage. Pausing at irregular intervals and continuously waving their legs with varied speed and timing, the Porsche mimics the tricks of light from the forest canopy. In this way, they are able to pursue their prey through the often treacherous habitat without being predated upon themselves. With their favorite food source being the other spiders of the jungle, Porsches are noted for their intelligent range of hunting tactics and problem-solving abilities traits more commonly associated with much larger creatures. Willing to take long detours in order to approach their prey unseen, the Porsche spider has learned to alter its technique to get the better of the jungle's countless other arachnids. Tiptoeing on the webs of other spiders, the Porsche will disguise the vibrations it creates by timing its approach to coincide with the gentle gusts of the breeze. Once the Porsche is within range, a straightforward ambush attack can be utilized. As jumping spiders, Porsches leap with speed and accuracy, landing atop their quarry and immediately administering their venom. The stunned victim never even knows what hit it. This brutal and effective surprise attack allows the canny Porsche spider to feed on fellow arachnids up to twice its own size. Hunting by day or night, the Porsche spider's ability to outwit their prey in the Asian jungle is unaffected. 
One of their most deceptive and brilliant techniques involves entering the web of other spiders and drawing them out through the trialing of different vibrations. Patiently testing alternating patterns, the Porsche will use their quarry's web to mimic the vibrations of a trapped insect. until their prey makes the fatal mistake of coming to investigate. As long as their habitat and fellow spiders remain undisturbed, this smart and adaptable creature will continue to thrive. The jungles of Asia are fed by a network of rivers sneaking their way through the trees. It is these waterways that shape the jungle landscape and the life that inhabits it. Never far from the water, the aptly named Asian water buffalo inhabits the swamps and wet grasslands that the jungle river ecosystem supports. Asian buffalo spend great parts of their day basking in the water to regulate their body temperature in the hot, humid forests and to avoid pests. They have also adapted to graze with their heads submerged, pulling up the nutritionally rich aquatic plants that grow underwater. They chew above the surface before diving for another mouthful. While some of the plants they feed on are valued by farmers, and thus bring the wild buffalo into conflict with humans, other plants, such as the water hyacinth, are an invasive species in Asia, and in feeding on them, the buffalo assists in keeping the jungle waterways clear. Hybrids of wild and domesticated varieties are more commonly encountered in the jungle and display a range of physical characteristics. Weighing well over a ton and standing nearly two meters tall, Asian buffalo are amongst the largest of the Bovidae family. Their distinctive horns, however, are bigger than any living bovid species. Thick-based and spreading up to two meters wide, these massive horns are sported by both males and females and can be used in fighting, self-defense, and most frequently, in creating mud holes in the ground. Their self-made mud holes allow water buffaloes to engage in one of their favorite behaviors, wallowing. By rolling about in the sludge, Asian buffalo are able to coat themselves in a thick layer of mud, not only keeping them cool, but protecting their skin from the ravages of the sun and jungle parasites. When parasites do set in, the buffalo have developed a symbiotic relationship with several species of jungle bird. Allowing their winged friends free reign, the birds are granted an easy meal, while the buffalo is relieved of the ticks and mites that cling to their coats. Domesticated and selectively bred over thousands of years, the water buffalo is today the most dependent upon domestic animal in the world providing labor as well as meat and milk. But it is their domestication and the ever-expanding imprint of agriculture in the jungle regions that threatens to wipe out the true wild buffalo. Although closely related, wild buffalo are a separate species to the domestic variety, and genetically pure lines are rapidly diminishing and increasingly fragmented throughout the jungle. It is believed there are still sufficient numbers to support genetic diversity into the future. But preserving enough jungle habitat and keeping hybrid varieties from contaminating the pure lines 
are significant challenges that remain for this endangered species. From the trees to the undergrowth and into the waters, the pythons of the Asian jungle are masters of their environment. Predominantly ambush hunters, pythons are patient predators. Well camouflaged in the jungles of Asia, pythons can take up position virtually anywhere as they wait for their prey to come to them. While all snakes are descended from a venomous ancestor, the python family has lost its ability to produce venom. Instead, pythons utilize their long, muscular bodies to wrap their victims in a constrictive embrace, opting for suffocation over poison. With 26 distinctive python species spread across Asia, Africa and Australia, the year-round warm temperatures of the Asian jungle provide the optimum climate for pythons, allowing them to efficiently draw heat from their surroundings. As a result, these jungles are not only home to a dramatically varied range of snakes, but also the biggest. While several Asian species are capable of overpowering an adult deer, this environment is home to the longest snake on the planet, a six and a half meter long reticulated python. Across all species of python, jungle rodents comprise a great part of their diet. And upon a successful strike, the quarry is immobilized by the snake's backward curving teeth while their powerful body coils around to make the kill. Swallowing their meals whole, the python's free-floating jaw allows it to slowly work its mouth around the victim's body, slathering it in saliva and assist its passage into the stomach where it will be digested over the course of days or even weeks. Excellent climbers and deadly amongst the undergrowth, pythons are also superb swimmers. With much of the Asian jungle crossed by rivers and wetlands, these snakes are granted free reign over their habitat, accounting for their wide distribution throughout the jungle. As egg-laying snakes, the female python will incubate her clutch to maintain the embryos at a constant temperature, vigilantly guarding the unhatched young from the other predators of the jungle. She will not eat until they hatch. The warm and humid jungle climes assist the mother in the incubation, but it is her monitoring of the egg's temperature and the adjustment of her body to keep them within the optimum range Left to fend for themselves, these young snakes not only face the natural threats of the jungle, but man-made hazards as well. Particularly vulnerable to forest fires, the deliberate slash and burn practices of palm oil plantations are, every year, killing increasing numbers of pythons, along with other wildlife. Until these practices are stamped out, the future of these snakes and the environment they have so successfully adapted to remains at risk. With unrivaled biological diversity, the jungles of Asia are home to some of the planet's most varied and fascinating species 
we have seen just a few. The stately Asian elephant, voracious fruit bats, ingenious Porsche spiders, iconic water buffalo, and constricting pythons. As the most populated continent continues to expand, the jungles of Asia are among the most rapidly disappearing habitats on Earth. With deforestation threatening to wipe them out, agriculture and palm oil plantations demand vast areas of land and logging operations, both legal and illegal, continue to ravage the jungles as well as the wildlife that depends on them. From the unsustainable profits of industry to continued benefits of conservation, the jungles of Asia are to be saved.